370 kilowatts of power and zero to 100 kilometres an hour in, in just thereabouts four seconds. A great little bit of motor vehicle. These cars are built to run on the Autobahn. They run to be run hard. And, you know, for many, many years, that's one been one of my, I, I guess, attractions for the uh, Mercedes, especially the AMG brand. And they just run and run and run and run and run. They are bulletproof. The sound is, is just something that uh, uh, you can't compare. Is a, um, a typical AMG engine, and this is the guy who would have uh, assembled this particular engine. 373 kilowatts of performance in this V8. It's a um, naturally aspirated engine. This is the last one for the C-Class, but um, this 507 limited edition is a very, very serious motor vehicle. These extraction ducts, just letting some heat out to escape from the engine bay. This thing here could power a, uh, a truck, let alone a small little coupe like this, so it's working quite hard to put out that performance. Well, the car's, you know, although it has the upgraded engine, it also has upgraded brakes. It has a brake performance package, and so, you know, not only does it go quick, it actually stops very quick. Amazing calipers, amazing size uh, discs. In fact, probably the size of your, your standard other brand wheel is the size of the carrier. So it's, a, uh, it's an amazing package on this. One of the points that identifies the C63 over the standard C-Class is the 6.3 AMG badge on the front quarter panel and of course on the rear boot lid. You know, anytime you see something like that, you know it's got some serious grunt behind it. They're just nice, clean interiors, and uh, that's what I love about the uh, the Mercedes product in general. But the AMG product, again, just a little bit, little bit sharper, a little bit more high end. You've got nice seats. You've got a sports steering wheel. Everything is is pretty standardised. Whether you're going from uh, your comfort through to your sport plus, it's a couple of clicks. Your ESP off to your navigation. Uh, little toggle. Everything is just comfortable. Everything's in an easy to find location. So again, it keeps your eyes focused on where you need to be going and that's staying on the road. For me, it's, it's pretty much a flawless motor vehicle. On a typical drive day, you might get about 72 people who are the lucky ones. My experience from the AMG drive day is that it's very professional, it's, it's well organised and they really take good care of you. The instructors are pretty good at improving your, um, your driving technique on the track. From the minute you get into the car, they encourage you to find the accelerator and just go as hard as you, as you can. You know, hitting 224 kilometres an hour, it's, it's, a, it's a real blast. Having those professional drivers point us in the right direction and picking out the brake markers and the, and the apexes for us, it was a, a great experience. As an everyday driver, what I did notice was that possibly as a result of, of the, the bonnet vents and maybe they've increased the size of the oil cooler, it was definitely running cooler out there today than, uh, than it would normally be. Everyone who participates they walk away with wonderful memories and uh, hopefully better driving skills as well. well. The AMG passion started for me pretty much when they announced they were going to stuff the six litre engine into a small sedan. And I position it above the other German marks. A lot of people hear the car coming. You certainly don't need a stereo system. It's got its own sound system. It comes with a car. The acceleration is just unbelievable. 
It's the last evolution of the C-Class AMG before they transition into the new C-Class. To be honest, it's um, even the new one, I can't imagine it can be much better than what this, this, this current last model is going to be like.